Hello, I am Rendell Hernandez and together with my partner Tony, we have been working on this project called Corrosion Detection. The main goal of our project is to find a reliable way to detect the corrosion hidden beneath uh, painted steel. This includes uh, steel structures, trailers, uh, machinery. Uh, we also wanted to make affordable so people could use our device in their everyday life. The approach that we decided to take was to use machine learning after discarding a lot of ideas. Uh, we picked this one because after reading a lot about it, we reached the conclusion that using the sound samples generated by the corroded steel, the non-corroded steel and the painted steel, we could analyze that data and put it together so that the machine learning algorithm could pick the uh, new data and decide whatever uh, the piece was corroded or not. And with that, let the user know. Here are some samples that we used for the testing and for the data sampling. Uh, at the right, you can see on the top that we have the non-corroded, painted and non-painted steel. And at the bottom, we have the corroded and painted. With those, we gather most of the in testing samples that we use it to feed our algorithm to learn how to differentiate with the kinds of corrosions. After that, we added the ones at the bottom left with different shapes and level of corrosions and paint. Uh, the process of teaching the machine was uh, really simple. Once we got the code working, it was gathering the samples, processing them, and teaching the machine which which sample is what. At the at the left we have all the samples in the corroded section, and for the right we have like the non-corroded section. Putting those together in the machine, the machine slowly learned how to differentiate between those. And when a new sample is presented, it was able to uh, cut uh, separate it in, in the corresponding group. Once the machine was finally trained, we could feed it any kind of data. The machine don't, does not nothing, nothing, does know nothing about that data, but it's we feed it with corroded data. The machine will take that data and the algorithm that is just analyzing data now, not learning, compares the sound file with the database that it has, and it gives results to the user. It shows if it's corroded or if it's non-corroded. It depends on the input that we present. This is a, a small video of how we recorded the non-corroded samples. This is another video of how we uh, how we analyze the corroded samples. And here is the small video that will show how the data is processing in Python. We take the test one and test two that is non-corroded and corroded. We run the code. And once it finish reading all the previous data, it will start running. And we put the non-corroded file and it detects it as non-corroded. And we put the corroded file and it detects it as the corroded one, making it work with and this will work with any kind of sample that we put there. Uh, with this, we determine that it is possible to detect the corrosion beneath the pen, but there is a lot of room for improvement since we did not have enough time to do everything that we wanted. Uh, so what's next? Uh, make it more lightweight. Uh, analyze the data on field without needing it to be processed and um, uh, provide more training in general so it could differentiate between more shade forms and levels of corrosions.